Today we have come to one of the coolest freshwater research facilities in the world, the Experimental Lakes area. And we're here to see an entire lake get filled with microplastics. Normally this isn't something to be very excited about, but what's being learned here can help us gain a new understanding of how plastic affects lake ecosystems and how we can better protect lakes from one of the biggest sources of water pollution on Earth. The Experimental Lakes area is a series of 58 lakes here in the Boreal Shield that has been set aside for doing research of these like up and coming contaminants. The Plastics Project is a group of researchers that are all coming together to look at the effects of microplastics in the aquatic environment, in this case, the freshwater aquatic environment. Most of this research that has been done on microplastics has been done in laboratories. Uh, there hasn't really been much field-based research done on microplastics. So what we're hoping to achieve here is to see how microplastics will actually behave and interact with organisms in a whole lake ecosystem as opposed to just beakers in a laboratory. So we're adding microplastics to the lake every two weeks just to simulate stormwater outflow into lakes, which is occurring everywhere. This is going to be happening over the next three years. So the amount of plastic that we're adding is about, um, you can imagine, one cup of microplastics to an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and that's how much we're adding every two weeks. So the plastic that's floating at the top is yellow, and that's polyethylene. It's very commonly used in a lot of our products, like plastic bags and bottles. The polystyrene, which is our pink plastic, is going to be in the water column because it's neutrally buoyant. And that is modeled after a drinking disposable drinking cup. So you think of your typical red cup that you might be drinking from. Blue plastic is polyethylene terephthalate. And that is based off of like a water bottle that you might find. I think just knowing how microplastics impact the ecosystem level will be more helpful for us to inform policy and decision making to help us reduce microplastics in the environment. It'll be interesting to see if this has an effect on community diversity, abundances and biomass of different species. So I really hope that what we learn here can go on to teach the future generation students that are coming up as well about not just like plastics in particular, but also working on contaminants in the environment and the effects on the whole ecosystem. Those are the future generations that are gonna be determining whether they use plastic or whether they buy plastic or whether they go into an industry where they can develop different types of plastic. 